So, Rachel Zegler, one thing I gotta say about this actress, this person specifically, is that Disney made a very big mistake by choosing the most insufferable actress out there to portray Snow White, especially in a live-action remake, by the way, that goes against the source material. Just to be very clear, she is now called Snow White because she survived a blizzard when she was a child. Let that sink in for a moment there. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. You can also follow me at Mike Zero One. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. Now I've said this multiple times, but the one thing that you never want to do, either as an actress, an actor, singer, producer, whatever it is, musician, you don't drag politics into your career, and that's exactly what Rachel Zegler did, Robert De Niro, Jimmy Kimmel, and many, many others within the film industry. But focusing here on Zegler in isolation, after she made her political comments on Instagram and how that backfired, forcing her to apologize via the Walt Disney Company, really forcing her to actually make that call, and we'll talk a lot more about that, Disney recently took even more action against Rachel Zegler behind the scenes, and this all comes in the wake after she was indeed fired by Bloomhouse Productions for her upcoming horror trilogy that is no more, and we'll have a lot more to talk about that as well next week, so stay tuned. Now, what's interesting here is that we know that Rachel Zegler is by far one of the worst actresses out there that could have played Snow White, and I've actually talked about this as to why. She is not only difficult to work with the cast and the crew, but she's also one that is very overly demanding, especially as a newcomer to the film industry. It's not like she is like this fully established actress that's been in this business for decades upon decades, and she's calling the shots, or at least she's trying to call the shots about how her character should be played. Now, specifically, with the Walt Disney Company already going through multiple financial cutbacks for all of their divisions, one monumental development going on now involves more to do with Rachel Zegler and the extensive backlash that she is receiving, how Disney recently took action, especially, like I said, after Bloomhouse Productions fired Zegler from a horror film trilogy, after the political comments that she had made. Now, already the marketing campaign for Snow White 25 and the entire press tour is in shambles as Rachel Zegler is now officially going through financial hell with her connection to the Walt Disney Company. Now, already both Disney CEO Bob Iger and the board of directors over there made a swift move to cancel several performances and appearances of Rachel Zegler that were going to serve as an extra form of income for her payout for the Snow White film set to release in March. Now, one major performance that was now finally canceled involved Zegler, who was set to sing on live television Television during the Thanksgiving parade in New York City dressed as Snow White. This was going to pay Zegler a couple million dollars, reportedly, that she is now no longer going to be receiving. Originally, she was supposed to sing alongside actress Gal Gadot. However, Gal decided to abandon ship from that presentation weeks and weeks ago due to Zegler being very difficult to work with. There you go. Another performance that was finally canceled by the Walt Disney Company involved a Christmas performance also based in New York City. Though the exact location was not known, it was set to take place somewhere within Times Square, where she was also going to be dressed as Snow White yet again. Again, this was going to pay Zegler a few million dollars serving as residual payments to the Snow White film for the marketing campaign that are now in a nosedive situation. Now, Zegler, of course, and her other performance, and most important performance, mind you, that she is reportedly furious and enraged about by its cancellation involved a New Year's promotion, a New Year's Eve promotion of Snow White, also again in New York City. Now, the plan was for Disney to prop up Zegler as not just an actress, but also as a singer as a musician, if you will, to a degree, as Rachel is said to be attempting to expand her career beyond acting as a backup plan for obvious reasons. Now, Zegler is already fighting the Disney studio executives for making this swift move that will save them millions of dollars and save a shred of their image of whatever's left regarding Snow White 2025. Rachel is already playing the race car behind the scenes against Disney after they canceled these performances and they are on the cusp of also booting 
precluding her from presenting the film at the world premiere live on stage. Now guys, let me say one thing about this. Now, I think that Rachel Zegler deserves everything that she's getting right now, especially after the comments that she made about her political views and how she views people that believe in their political views. And that really backfired entirely. Now, first you had the weird, weird situation back in 22, you know, 2022. Then you had Rachel in 2023, and in this year, by the way, going on several rants about the Snow White boycott and how so many families out there want nothing to do with this movie. And now, just recently, days ago, you had Rachel making that rant on Instagram about her political views, by the way. So Disney had to step in, they forced her to apologize, and now they're taking even a more serious form of action where they are now canceling appearances of Rachel Zegler on live television. Both, of course, had to do with singing and her playing guitar, promoting Snow White, dressed as the character. By the way, this character looks very off-putting. It looks like Lord Farquaad from the Shrek franchise. There's something about that hairstyle that's just way off in this Snow White 25 film. Just putting it out there, and I put it out there before, by the way, but moving onwards, all right, this is where it gets a little bit more intense, is that Disney shareholders, believe it or not, are already pressuring Disney to fire her completely from the Walt Disney Company, even though she was removed from all upcoming Disney projects that she was supposed to be involved in, uh, one of which, by the way, was Toy Story 5. She got booted from that. Shareholders are now concerned over Snow White's performance, especially after the recent comments that she displayed that are best described as irredeemable behavior and her apology as not authentic. The cast and crew are said to have dealt with Zegler's growing negative personality trait time and time again. Now look, this is a personality trait by Rachel Zegler. You can say that she apologized, you can say this and that, it was not genuine. This was something that Disney forced her to say. All right, if Disney did not step in to tell her, make that statement, apologize, believe me, she would have never apologized. She's not that type of person, she's not that type of actress. So again, the Walt Disney Company did this because the backlash was just, well, too large. Number one, the general public, the majority of the public spoke, and the media actually covered this for the very first time. So, first you had the weird, weird situation. The media didn't really cover it all that much to that degree as they did just recently. And that really spoke volumes. It really put Rachel Zegler in the hot seat to the point where Disney just had to do something. They had to take some kind of action, publicly speaking. Now look, a lot of this now is really making Disney think twice about what they should do with Snow White, and we talked about this. Bob Iger has been having serious conversations with the board of directors on whether or not they even want to debut this film theatrically now. They're even thinking about debuting it on Disney Plus instead, and that would actually cost them a ton of money. That's why a lot of advisors, a lot of board of directors are advising Bob Iger to just keep it in theaters and just kind of bite the bullet and just, you know, go through the actual phase and let it roll out. I say what they should do is Batgirl the thing. That's what they should do. Cancel this thing outright and lock it up in a vault. But overall, I would like to hear what you all have to say about this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. And I will catch you guys later. Yeah.